On February 16, 2019, Mirko Crow Kopp defeated Roy Nelson and ended his professional career as a fighter lasting 23 years. For two decades, Mirko Crow Kopp fought in fights according to the rules of K1 and MMA, becoming the champion of K1 World Grand Prix 2012. Having won victories over such legendary fighters as Mark Hunt, Remy Boniaski, Jerome LeBanner, and Peter Ertz, Mirko has inscribed himself in the world history of martial arts for a long time. Like the vast majority of great fighters, Mirko also suffered defeats, and today we invite you to recall the top three defeats in the career of a Croatian policeman according to the rules of K1. Make yourself a cup of tea, sit back and get ready to watch this video. The First Fight Ernesto Hust vs. Mirko Krakop K1 Grand Prix Tournament 1996 Back in 1996, 31-year-old Ernesto Hust took part in the K1 Grand Prix 1996 tournament. In the quarterfinals of the tournament, Ernesto Hust's opponent was 22-year-old Mirko Krokop, who at the time of the fight had not yet managed to become famous for his left high kick. By the end of the third round, Hust, using his vast experience in battles, was able to find the weak spot of the representative of Croatia. This weak point was the protection from low kicks. Time after time, Hust kicked the left thigh of the Croatian policeman, forcing the Crow Cop to limp, and then completely stand in place from the pain. The referee immediately stopped the fight, awarding the victory to Mr. Perfection, who reached the semi-finals of the tournament and lost to the legendary Andy Hoke. The second fight. Ernesto Hust vs. Mirko Crow Cop. K1 Grand Prix 1999 Final. In 1999, Hust once again justified his nickname Mr. Perfect. The holder of the best low kick in the history of K1 took part in the K1 World Grand Prix 1999, defeating Andy Hoke, Jerome LeBanner and the matured Mirko Crow Cop. The fight with Crow Cop, who has gained a decent amount of muscle mass since their first meeting, took place as part of the finals of this tournament. However, in the fight against Hust, a large muscle mass did not benefit the Croatian policeman. In the third round, Hust again knocked out Crow Cop, inflicting a heavy blow to the liver with his left hand. The third fight. Mirko Crow Cop vs. Michael McDonald. K1 World Grand Prix 2001 in Melbourne. On June 16, 2001, the K1 Grand Prix qualifying tournament took place in Melbourne, where Mirko Crow Cop fought one of the smallest heavyweight, Michael McDonald. According to the majority of K1 fans, Michael did not pose a big threat to Mirko Crow Cop, who at the time of 2001 was one of the most dangerous fighters in the world. Having worked out the defense against his opponent's trademark high kick, Michael went into battle against a self-confident Crow Cop, and surprised all martial arts fans already in the first round. This was the last knockout defeat in the K1 career of Mirko Crow Cop who later had 11 more victorious fights, becoming the K1 Grand Prix champion 2012. In the future, we will also tell you about the success of Mirko Krokop in fights under the rules of MMA, where he also went through ups and downs. In the meantime, like this video and subscribe to the Pro Fight channel. There are many more interesting reviews ahead of you. Good luck!